Here are some of the best tools for your mid journey tiles. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? All of these tools are linked below the video. And the first one will help you to preview your tile prompts without even upscaling them. Simply bring up your discord window. There you have the four or two or one suggestion, depending on what kind of model you use. Click and drag this in here. Now up here, you can select how many previews you have. In this case, I have four and then you click on them and they will tile for you automatically. So you can see if this works and is worth the upscale. The next tool I'm showing you will stick together your tiles in a very simple way. Go here to choose file, select the file you want, select how many tiles you want. Let's say six by three. You can also do some more settings here and what kind of file you want, JPEG or PNG. Click on OK. And after this has finished, you can click here to preview the file or click here to directly download this to your drive. The next tool I want to show you is amazing for trying out different fabric designs and product ideas. There is a free demo, but after that you have to pay. What is really amazing here is you can move around inside of your image and create different kind of patterns for that. You can see you have a preview here for clothing. You can also look at it as a surface and create a ton of new tiles and designs from that. And in the 3D version, you can also choose different kinds of objects, for example, a pillow or a scarf. And you can even rotate that in real time with the trial version or the pro version. You can also upload your own files here and you have all these different kind of methods to tile this. But when you want to have just your original tile, go to the rectangular grid P1, click on that and then resize this frame to the size of your tile. After that, as you can see, this will simply repeat your tile endlessly. So you can test this in designs to see how it looks on a dress or on a mug. You can also zoom into that to different sizes and you can also rotate your design. So this is really useful and gives you a great view on how beautiful your tiles can be as a fabric. The next tool I want to show you is called Materialize and is used for 3D textures. It's a free program, but only for Windows. When you have downloaded this, you are greeted by this screen here, which looks a little bit confusing. So what you want to do here is to go to Diffuse Map, click on the O here to open and then load your texture. Here I have a Giger texture and you can preview this. In this case, we have it on a cylinder. It looks very flat right now. This is because we don't have a height map. To create a height map, simply go over here, click on create. Here you have a lot of sliders to adjust this. Let's set this a little bit sharper here like so. And then you click here on set height map. You can always go back and readjust that, no problem. When we now go back to show full material, you can already see that this looks a lot more amazing. Now you can also do other maps here like the AO map. Let's create that too. And then we can also have here a smoothness map. Let's create that too. There we go. And now when we go back to our material, this already looks a lot more interesting. While you are in this preview, you have sliders here to adjust the preview. This doesn't change the output, but you can see, for example, with the parallax displacement that I can push this further out or further in to get a better preview. This is what you would set up later in your 3D software. You can also change the preview of the texture tiling here. For example, let's go to five by five. And now we have something that already looks like it belongs into a alien movie. Also check out the video from this guy because I learned about this software from him. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye.